everybody, welcome to day 30 of the Take Back Your Life video journey. 40 days of thinking right so that we can live right. Sorry. The girls don't normally <laughs> see me do the intro, so they're, uh, they think it's a fun, what's so funny? <laughs> Hi guys! I, I was looking at the uh, monitor and then I looked at the thing and I was like, they're not, I'm not gonna look like I'm looking into that. It's gonna look like I'm looking off to the side. Yeah, you gotta look at the lens, not the monitor. Really? It's only recognizing my face, which means I'm the most important. Get it? Well, I don't know about that on that business, but okay, then. it's a good good thing you guys are on here. This is going well so far. Six. But we had to stop a little early today on our travels. We're in Cheyenne, Wyoming. We had to stop because of the high winds. Uh, apparently, it was so windy uh, on I-25 going north that. It was a chance of blowing over high profile vehicles. So we've been stuck here at the truck stop for a while, which is okay. We've got everything we need. We have heat, we have food, we have each other. And spotty Wi Fi. And awful Wi Fi. <laughs> in fact, I'm going to have to figure out a way to go in and sneak into the Denny's to upload this video later. Yep. But it'll work. Because they had good Wi-Fi in there. They did have good Wi-Fi. They did have Why good Wi-Fi. Why are you so hard? Are you dying? She's hot. I'm telling she you. She needs a drink. She hadn't had water the whole day. Man, there's a <laughs> super loud truck going by. Anyway, today, the power of the howl. You going to read that? I am going to read it. Our verse for today is encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. First Thessalonians 5.11. So we're talking about the power of groups, the, the power of encouragement. And it, Pastor talks about how when a wolf pack howls, they howl with dissonance so that you don't know whether there's one or 50. And you guys know what, you guys know what dissonance is, right? Yep. You're musicians. So tell us a little bit what you know about dissonance. Uh, dissonance, you typically don't want dissonance, like, uh, composers will usually not put it in their music unless, uh, I think there's only been a couple pieces that we've played as a band where Mr. Robinson, our director, was like, alright, yeah, that's how it's supposed to sound, you don't, you're not just playing it wrong, it needs to sound like this, because that way, whenever you get the resolution, the clear, uh, what is it, mm -hmm. harmony, forgot the word, but it's wrong, <laughs> the clear harmony, it, like, makes an impact. Okay. Uh, it was, I think it was, it was pretty cool the way that he brought up the fact that the the wolves howl to get each other riled up. He said that the alpha wolf howls to get the pack ready to go on a hunt. And Sadie says, that's me. <laughs> I'm wolf. I don't know if she's the alpha ha alpha wolf or not. Alpha <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing we had the kids on today. You, you chose this. So they howl and get everybody riled up. <laughs> get everybody riled up. And he uses that in a, in a way to sort of ask us how we, how we interact with those closest to us. Do we encourage? Do we speak grace and truth? Do we have hard conversations? Those are all things that whenever you have that tight pack you should be able to do. And the thing about a pack, you know, whenever they get finished with the howling, they do just almost play fight until they're just a bundle of fur, just like he talks about. So they're worked oh, up wow. into such a frenzy that they're ready to go hunt. Which is something that did kind of come up in our conversations, which Rockford doesn't have any siblings close to him in age, so he never experienced this. However, I do have two older brothers and two younger sisters that I was able to grow up in the same house with. And with our five, he has, from the parents' side, got to see them pick on each other, be mean to each other, harass each other. And he's like, it's not supposed to be this way. And it is. That's, <laughs> the, like, that's the pack. They're going to appear to not be being nice, but then if any outside force comes at them, they rally together and they do the, what is it in the crude circle of death? Um, kill, kill circle. circle. Yeah, we've got the crudes. <laughs> we've got that movie. So, 
it is very much like that in raising kids that are close in age together, which ours are 15 to 21 and there's five of them. So, so do you guys identify with the pack, like with your siblings? Yeah, there's a pecking order. Lauren's at the bottom. <laughs> I think, we, I think we should kick Thomas to the bottom. <laughs> Thomas is funny. Oh wait, no, that's the Omega's job, isn't it? Yeah, he's probably you and Thomas are at the bottom. <laughs> I've been ruled. I've been ruled the unfunny sibling. Me and Allison are the unfunny siblings. Yeah, Allison's that's funny. Because yeah. you guys are so angry. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> Example one. Whenever I try to be funny, you guys are just like that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny just now. We that laughed. Was funny. You're laughing at me. No, I'm not. <laughs> We're laughing with you. Was I laughing? Yeah. No. <laughs> so going back to this whole idea of the pack, you guys fight a lot. You may get after each other a bit, right? But you feel like you would go to war for your siblings? I would stab someone. Somebody other than your siblings? <laughs> we would stab depends. each other. <laughs> depends. But whenever it comes down to it, if someone's doing something to one of my siblings. Oh, yeah, you don't get to mess with my family. Yeah. Only I get to bully them. That's okay. the way it works. <laughs> Thomas sometimes seems to not care, but, like, he has his own way of showing he cares. Like, I'll talk to him sometimes about stuff that I'm going through at school, and he's like, you know, if anybody messes with you, just to come get me. I'm like, what are you going to do? Sit on them? <laughs> Is, he's gotten really big now, so yeah. he's he's kind of scary when he gets mad. So that's good. <laughs> he like pinches me, and he's like, "That didn't hurt," but he doesn't realize how strong he is, and so it does hurt. Thomas, okay. <laughs> surprisingly enough, does have quite a soft heart. Yeah, he he's he is one of those guys that feels like he has to put on this macho sort of bravado Facade. thing and. He's a good kid, man. He really loves people, and it, it's it's funny to watch him as he tries to, you know, like, push people away and what have you. But he, he cares about his family, whether it's this family or whether it's his dad's side of the family. Uh, I, Thomas will go to war at any time for his siblings. So, now, That's we're talking cool. about friends. Well, we have friends that we do life with outside of the fa outside of our family you got to have a pack that you deal with now we've talked about this several times mm -hmm. so far as we've gone through this study we've talked about this maybe three or four times um, but the thing to remember from today specifically is giving encouragement when it's time to give encouragement and it one of the activities in the end of the reading today has to do with sending a text uh, sending a note doing something to speak life into the people in your pack and in sort of a way you're becoming that alpha encouraging those people that are closest to you to, to <laughs> live their best life to be the person god's called them to be one of the easiest ways to really make sure that that's effective is to watch the people that are in your pack and see how they give encouragement to others because just like we talk about the five love languages, there's five appreciation languages, it's the same thing. Are they doing acts of service? Are they speaking words of encouragement? Are they spending quality time? What are they doing? Because that's typically our natural language. So whenever you return those acts of service or whatever it is that they're giving, that will um, hit them harder than if you were to be speaking one of the other languages. So take the time to send that note of encouragement to those people that are closest to you and really, really speak life into them because it, it will do wonders for your group, for your circle, for your pack, or all the different words that have been used so far. So that's one thing. The other thing is speaking truth and grace. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you got to have those hard conversations. Uh, you guys ever been through that, having to have a hard conversation with somebody? Yes. Okay. Anything you want to tell us? Uh, it was whenever we were talking about colleges, because uh, I have not been on them. Still haven't, but I'm still trying to decide. But like having that conversation really was like, it's time to get going. So. Yeah. How about you? 
Well, this is where I typically struggle because I have a tone and Rob will usually say it's not the words that are the problem, it's the tone. Yes. So. And it's hard. If, yeah. you, if you're, I mean, you know, like April, I promise you she has a good heart, but sometimes when it comes out, it can be hard to take. And there's been several people in the course of our marriage that she has interacted with that have been offended by what she has said for no other reason than they just didn't understand her well enough. Yeah. And it's, it happens. And that's, that's part of it goes back to the point of being with that inner circle and that closeness of uh, relationship in that inner circle. Mm -hmm. So today was all about what girls? She's saying stuff. I don't know what she's like. <laughs> You're being very distracted. <laughs> I said just skip me. It's whatever. What? Go. <laughs> <laughs> no. You were gonna you made such a big deal about it. Come on, go. Piece of it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, one of the hard conversations, but <laughs> that had grace was whenever we were talking about having to hold me back because of the friendships and relationships that I was in was not healthy. They were not good for me. I really did not want to have to transition from that. And I'm glad that I did because I don't know where I would be if I was still in those. So. Yeah. And now you're one of the older kids in your grade. I mean, you should be driving like, first. Flex on them. <laughs> <laughs> but I can look at my whip. The hand me down car. Yeah, that thing, that poor car. I want that. It tries its uh, best. Lauren's had her eye on like a 1978, I think it's actually a Datsun 280Z. I don't even know what any So that that's means. a sports car from like the 70s. <laughs> she is into that car. Yeah. So imagine being, imagine knowing cars. I'm just like, it drives. I don't know yeah. what it's called, but I really like it. We went and looked at it, and it's got like, I'm pretty sure it has vinyl seats. Has vinyl. What? Vinyl. <laughs> no, I, I, I hate words. <laughs> English is literally stupid. I don't get why anybody would want to speak English. Oh, especially in this family, because whenever you mess up, everyone makes one of you. It's one of our bonding Ooh. moments. <laughs> That's how we get our pack riled up. But. Vinyl. Vinyl seat. It's a pretty cool car. Anyway, let's wrap this up because we're gonna we're gonna make fun of Lauren saying vinyl for a while. Uh, <laughs> cry. <sighs> I'm so distracted now. Okay. No. Uh, Day thirty in the books. What was it? Yeah. The power of the howl or something. All right, so remember the power of the howl. Yep. And that is to get those closest to you fired up and ready to go be the people that God's called them to be. It helps all of us in the circle whenever we are being encouraging, when we are being uh, strong, whenever we have grace and truth in those conversations. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what's wrong with her. But we're going to figure it out. We hope that you guys have an amazing day. We're going to figure out how to get this video uploaded. And we'll be back tomorrow with day 31, which is... Don't kick the beehive. Don't kick the beehive. It sounds like something Papa would say. <laughs> probably. It's good advice. Yeah, it is good advice. It's probably why it made it in the book. Anyway. Have an amazing day. We'll see you tomorrow on day 31.